We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we're diving back into Disgaea 5 Complete on the PC. And, uh, I don't know, by the time this episode goes out, there's probably a very real chance that our printies only run has begun. Printies only dude, I guess is what I've, I've decided to call it. Anyhow, we're going to continue to trudge forward and press forward and try to get everything done that we can conceivably get done in Disgaea 5. I'd like to full complete this before Disgaea 6 releases on June 29th, 2021, but you never know. There is a lot to do, and as it stands right now, we are not actually very far in, but uh, we, we, we've got some we've got some options. Uh, looks like I've done some of the things that I needed to do to make this a reality. So kilio has been rebirthed, uh, Arzla's been rebirthed. Did I get rebirthed too? Did I make the cut? Where am I? Did I skip me already? Oh, there I am. I did not get rebirthed yet. I am in the process of doing that. Okay, so here's here's kind of the rub. I, I kind of rewatched roughly where I left off in the last episode. I've literally played over 100 more hours of the game since I've last recorded an episode. I want to say maybe over 150 hours more of the game. So this is not where we're at now. I, I still have more. That, don't worry about it. Anyway, so... If I recall correctly, I was talking about getting all of our all of our subclasses mastered. That was the goal that I was trying to reach, and it looks like I actually did reach that goal. And I will show you guys what I was talking about, I think. Or, do we have any more thieves? Is it just... Did you master it too? I apologize. I don't know where I left off with this. It looks like we have a few that are mastered. All right, so it wasn't you, Kilia. I can't do that with, though. I have an idea of how I can make it work with Kilia. So maybe I do that now and I show you this because I I didn't actually do this before. I just kind of figured this out really really recently, and it's a really cool thing. All right, so we have Chelsea and Christine as our additional maids, along with Bonnie. And we're going to do probably the biggest time skip after this episode, or maybe even during this episode, depending on how far we get into it. As I haven't really done much else as far as progressing through and doing any of the combats and fights and anything. But I have done a tremendous amount of grinding and leveling up. And I, I remember when my stats were this, they're over four times higher than this now. So, yeah, we're, we're a lot stronger. I've actually maxed out what I can gain through uh, fragments and shards. Sorry, uh, fragments and elixirs. I don't know what they're called. And I've also maxed out the subclass thing, which you've already seen. All right, so, sorry, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here right now. So let's go do this first. We look in the squads. Where is Kilia? He is in the alchemy squad. Let's get him out of the alchemy squad. All right. Oh, uh, remove you. I'll put somebody else in the alchemy squad. Doesn't matter who at this point. Just anyone who is available. Bob, you're in the alchemy squad. All right. Uh, where is Zungle? Oh, I know where Zungle is. Wait, why is Zungle there? Okay, I lied. I, don't, I didn't know where Zungle was. Support group? Why? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Alright. Zungle, you are no longer in the support group. What does the support group do? I'm not even sure. What does that do? Activities in the... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, there was a reason I was there. Uh, we're looking for... The Flatty Squad. Ugh, that's so bad. Assign members. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we're looking for the skill training squad. That's what we're looking for. We need Zungle in it as a leader, and we want to have Kilia in it as not the leader. This may be, um, and again, I'm learning stuff as I go. I've looked up. Uh, once I get through the first playthrough of any of the Disgaea games, I tend to go to the internet to look up additional endings and stuff I need to accomplish. I rarely go into more detail about, like, 
how to accomplish the goals unless I'm really starting to struggle. I'm like, okay, this is a goal. Let me go for it. Um, so some of the things might have already been said a million times on the internet. Some of the things I probably read on the internet. And some of these are my own inventions. So this is probably one of my own inventions. So let's go see what if I can get away with this and how good and or bad I am at She's still doing things. Best. So we're going to the cheat shop. If I didn't tell you guys, you know, I was always wondering what CP was. CP are cheat points. It's allowing us to increase the amount of cheating that we're able to do. And in fact, uh, I think I still have this exact same cheat deal. All right, so we're going to basically go back to the 20 star. And we're going to come up here to the item world. Do we have a specific item that we were looking at or working on? It should be a sword. Or it should be maybe one of these. You know what? doesn't matter. We're going to go into this. Nexus cannot be used. Why? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I was looking, I was checking before I went in. Alright, we're gonna go into that. We're gonna go into the Exodus. And hopefully I'm smart enough to figure out how to do this, because I haven't done this part in a long, long, long time. Alright, so what I told you guys before is we're actually looking for any treasure chests. Other than that, we're just going straight to the end. That is our only goal right now. So, as that is our goal... Probably makes the most sense to... You know what? It's fine. We'll just use Bonnie. I think she's maxed out on movement. I'm going to double check on her. She is not. Let's let's change that. We need her moving as fast as possible. Come on, where are the shoes? There they are. Okay, so basically what we're doing at this point... And I told you guys I was going to show you this a little bit. I never really got to. We're going to do that. I should have checked what I had. His subclass set too, but it's fine. All right, so there's a chest. This is what exactly what we're looking for. So, in theory, now that Kilia is part of Zungle's skill group, he should be able to use whatever skills Zungle has. So, we're going to go here. We're going to hope to see Thief Key here, which we do not. Uh, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Hold on. Is, is Zungle not a thief right now? As no. I said. Yeah, Thief's Key. It should be a... I, I thought it would have been available. Hmm. Okay, I am back, ladies and gentlemen. It turns out Thief's Key is a unique skill, and that is why you can't cheat and do it the way I was trying to do it. So... That is unfortunate, but it's fine. There are other ways to go about it, though. It's a lot slower and more difficult to get your named characters to do that because they cannot be reincarnated into monster characters. Now, let's go take a quick peek at reincarnation for Kilia because I don't know. Can I make him a thief? I should be able to. Uh, re oop. Oh. Uh, reincarnation, genius, fine. Doesn't really matter, HP, oops, attack, doesn't really matter at this point, what, whatever, uh, and no, we just get reincarnated as the same thing. Alright, so, we, we don't get to change the classes of any of, any of our named characters, they are what they are. So that's exactly what I thought, I just, it's been a while since I attempted it, I wanted to go check. I know you can learn different weapon skills and things of that nature, but unfortunately that skill thing is not going to work. But you saw what I did. So basically, you could either leave if you can't get across into the portal to the next floor or not. But that's an easy way of leveling up your subclasses until you get strong enough to do some full clearing of things. So let's go take a peek now and see if we're strong enough to do Choose this. I think we are, but let's find out. So this is the last thing that I hadn't shown you guys, and that was the final trial. I don't remember what the final trial is. Oh, just these guys. Oh. Uh. They have so much health up there. Okay, also, we, there's no way we can do this. I just remembered that I didn't set down the... Uh, let's go back to the pocket of the world. I didn't set down the difficulty, so there's no way that's going to work. That's just instantaneous death to us. Um, so we gotta go all the way back down to zero. 
And then we move on from here. All right, let's go back to that. Let's see if we've got the oomph, the strength, the power to take this on and make it happen. I think that we do, but I'm not positive, so we'll see. What are your stats looking like? Uh, well... I mean, you got like six million. I think we can do this. Let's fight. Let's see what we look like when we hit you with this. Oh yeah, we, we can do this. All right. So we're gonna basically do this, and then I'm gonna just do my massive jump, guys and gals. That's basically how this is gonna go. Uh, there's not really anything else to show you guys, other than there's a tremendous amount of grinding that I do between now and, well, where I end up at, so. Uh, then I'll be able to basically get back on, to, on par where I've been and show you guys what's up. Oh, I know what I need. I need, where's Bianca? I'm sorry, all of my, all of my uh, people are in different positions now and probably half of their skills are, yeah. I've repositioned skills. I've done so much. All right, so what we're going to do is, despite them being on the super squares, giving them all the benefits and the buffs, they are still not strong enough to handle us. So this, getting the double attack, should be more than we need to take them down. It was not. So I'm a little bit surprised by that. I am not strong enough. I'm okay with this, though. This is not the worst thing in the world. So we're going to do afternoon tea, put that back up on you. And I am going to go around behind and I'm going to use summer rain slash to put you down. And there it is, guys, gals. The final one has been defeated. And I think you've gone through each and every one of these beforehand. And I showed you guys exactly what happens after you beat each one. The fourth trial is a really good one for leveling up at the early stages, especially with an axe user or a fist user that's strong enough. I don't believe we have anyone right now that's at that strength. Uh, do we have... Yeah, the Big Bang. So the Big Bang is another really good skill to use, but again, he's way too weak to use it. Once you get the Big Bang skill, fantastic skill. You definitely want that. Really, really, really solid. Don't need the space behind to do things. You're just good to go. So, come here. Slaughter everything you can at the highest level that you can slaughter it. One time shot, you get a bunch of experience. If you wanted to, and this is one of the tricks, guys and gals, I will show you how you can level up, say, any kind of scrub, low level, nothing character, monster character specifically, or if you reincarnate any of your generic characters that are not specifically named ones like Usalia, Christo, and so on and so forth. Uh, if you say you reincarnated Bianca, Bonnie, Zungle, and Bumpy, you could do this exact same thing. So let's go take a look at what I'm talking about. So I would like somebody who turns into a sword. I know the rabbit turns into a sword. Do we have one of those? Yeah, we do. All right, so Cody turns into a sword. So what we're going to do is we're going to magic change, right? And we're just going to absorb it. And I know I'm skipping some stuff. Then it doesn't matter what your secondary one's going to be. So we'll magic change again, and if you take a look, you'll see these are all like level 1 guys. But you see, that actually adds whatever stats, whatever bonuses you have on the character you're going to magic change into the character that you have there. So while this is only plus 3, imagine if you had a high level 9,999 character with like 40 million stats, right? It's going to boost you a lot. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to double down on that. We'll, we'll watch the magic change. I haven't really done this much. So we already turned one of them into a rabbit. Now we're going to turn him into a much larger rabbit sword. Okay, but that's not all. That's not all. No, 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 no. We're not done yet. We're going to go with Natasha. Manania. And we are going to magic change on the second one. It's a bow. doesn't matter. We're not using that one. And Bill. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to magic change on this. And there it is. All right, so... Now we're going to use, we could use their various different skills. And in fact, that's one way that you can get, like our axe user. I'll show you this as well, guys and gals. We might not get into where we're supposed to be. Well, we'll, we'll try it. So we're still going to slaughter them, right? Those guys are all level one. We're going to take them out. Then we're going to hop out of here. We're going to hop out. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're going to go and we're going to take a look at those characters down at the bottom. So we started with Cody. Cody is right here. He just jumped up 1,523 levels. All of them did. All the ones that we put in there. 
These jumped up even higher for whatever reason. I don't know why they just did. But that is a very quick way to bring up these characters by doing that. There's an even faster way, and we'll get to that soon. But I am basically going to drop out right now and come back, and I will show you guys some cool stuff. So we're going to actually come to where I'm at on this day of recording to my basically what I've grinded to this point. So let's take a look right here. I don't know where the last episode was, but we're at... 278 hours and 50 minutes basically so i will be right back in just a sec all right folks we're back and you'll see 390 hours and 50 minutes 51 minutes so a little bit longer a little bit more time uh the landscape has changed a little bit as well um arzla now has around 40,000 exp uh, sorry uh stats across the board bianca is up there with her 30,000 and so on and so forth. A bunch of them do. I am still doing that same exact trick I showed you before with uh, with Arzla up there. With the four people that I'm increasing their skills up to the point. Where once they get all of their subclasses mastered. Again, the reason you do that, other than the levels, is the levels are nice. The reason you want to do that is these subclasses. You want to master all of these subclasses. Once you get all of these mastered and you reincarnate and get back up to level 9999. Which is super fast by the way. You can get to level 9,999 instantly almost. Within like two or three levels, you can like run through something. You can get right back to basically full strength. So folks that uh, mentioned like statisticians are super useful. Only until a certain point. Then they become completely and totally obsolete. You do not need them at all. So if you can't get them up to the 900 that you need to max them out early on. Which will give you a boost and a help. That don't even bother later on. I have several that I that I have maxed out and I just don't use them anymore. So, uh, subclasses, right? So we have these guys set. We have a magician. Sorry, let's let's do this here. Uh, status subclass. Magicians completely undone. Magician again. Magician and magician. Okay, all of them are magicians. Uh, we we have so many 9,999s. It's ridiculous. But there's varying degrees to these 9,999s, right? So let's take a look at Kilia, for instance. He has not mastered all of his subclasses. You take a look. He's got 1,883,754 attack. Then we go take a look at Bumpy Prinisar, and he's got 12,677,826 attack. If we take a look at Zungle, Zungle has gone through all of the Fragments of Power and the Crystals and has maxed out all those stats, except HP. HP is like absurdly high. It's like 15 billion or something. Anyway, um, all the other stats are maxed out. Sitting at a, a cool 20 million across the board. So 20 million stats is basically maxed subclasses and maxed Fragments and Shards. I think they're called fragments and shards. I can never remember. Shards. Oh, right, let's let's go let's go banish some here or uh, extract. This is it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our special, just like always. Well, it was me. Is she farting? I did it. So, oh, it was me. I don't know. It's fine. All right, so she's glamorously invincible. We're going to go to extract. We're going to extract all. There's an extract all button. If I didn't show you guys that, use that because it's so much better. The magic extract. So, yeah. So, essentially, uh, we're going to go to food here. So, essentially, we can combine all the agility shards and all the finesse shards, and they all kind of combine into one. And then we also have the magic extracts. So, shards and extracts is basically what we're looking at. But I, I've, I've basically maxed out all of these on, I think, five characters I've maxed them out. So, uh, there's still a lot of grinding to do, a lot of stuff that we still must accomplish and do. Uh, let's take a look at the cheat shop. Come on. There we go. I believe... Okay, we're at the lowest. Now, this probably... Like, it's not necessary to really get a lot of great stuff here, but... This is, uh, we can we can accomplish this. It's just going to take us a while. So, we're going full 20 stars, and we're going to go to our, our new farming map. Remember when I told you guys that the Sage is going to become incredibly important? Bianca is kind of our end-all, be-all at this point. She has surpassed Arzla, maybe not stats-wise directly, but she has surpassed as the most useful character that we have right now for farming and other things. 
clearing the item world, you name it, she pretty much handles most Choose things. A so we're going to go back down here, and ironically, it's not going to be the martial training. And I am going to show you guys the final martial tra training in a minute, but not just yet. Double Illusion. If you remember, the map with the million Asagis, that's the one we're going to. Double Fake. That is where we go to farm. And why do we go to farm here? Because there's a whole bunch of Asagis. A lot of them. And they are all over the map. And if you look, their stats are real high. 29 million, 27 million, 21 million. A lot of high stats. We don't really stand a chance if we just went straight up and tried to fight them. We could, it would be very slow. But I have learned the power of land decimator. Did I ever fix that? My I don't think I did. These two are backwards. That's fine, though. I am going to be um, eventually converting Dawn into a secondary sage that's hopefully close to on par with uh, Bianca, but she's not there yet. Also, let's so take a quick peek. I have a level 315 Genesis wand with a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, we also have, from status... We also have, if you look, do I have a mouse? I do. You look right here, we have 100% critical based off of the food that we eat, the curry that we can make. If you add 100 thimbles to your curry, as like the little bonus thing at the bottom, it will give you 100% chance to critically hit all of the time. Highly recommend you do that. You cook it up for 100 days, and then you keep doing that over and over. You have your curry for 100 days, and then you cook the new one for 100 days, and so on and so forth. That 100% critical is super important. And then that also plays into the Genesis wand. Uh, again, I, there's still a lot of stuff I don't understand, but I'm getting a, a better grasp of things. We have the professionals. And what the professionals do is they increase not your critical chance, but the damage you do with your critical hits. So this increases it by 300%. So we do 300% more damage with our critical hits than we do if we didn't have them, I think. I, again, I'm. that's my understanding of it. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but again, I'm gathering more information. I'm getting better at the game. I'm understanding more and more of what I need to do. So we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're not there yet. There's still a lot more that we need to farm. I need to get basically 500 on the Genesis wand. I need to get two more tra trapezohedrons, hedrons, somewhere along those lines. Uh, basically, I need to get three more or two more traps, and I need to max them all out at 203. Or sorry, at 500, not 203. Additionally, on top of all of those things, if we look at our Genesis wand, uh, I was able to duplicate an additional. Was it the Solomon wand? Yeah. So the Solomon staff that I originally went in with was a green, and I got it up to 203, 205, whatever it is there. 205, and it turns to gold after a certain point, right? So I got a duplicate of that, and then I got another duplicate of my Genesis wand that I have right now when I was going into it at level 179. It even has all the innocence that I have in it. So you can get to... There's basically a jumping puzzle in the item world. If you get to the top of the jumping puzzle, it's pretty easy, actually, but if you get to the top of it, you have a chance that the person up there says, hey, I'll duplicate your item. Basically, whatever your item was set to at the start of your dive into the item world, it will give you that exact item with the same everything. Everything is exactly identical. It literally duplicates it. So if I can get a trap up to 500 and dive into the item world till I find that, and then boom, I'm going to have two of them. It's, oh, I can't wait. It's so It's, it's exciting. There's a lot of cool stuff in this game, guys and gals. I, 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 again, I'm several hundreds of hours into the game, but I've started to get a better understanding of what I'm doing. All right. So, you guys want to see some cool stuff. So, let's get some cool stuff going here. So, I move her out. I go ahead and I hit her with the multi-attacker. Come on. I put her back in. Actually, I didn't have to put her back in. We'll just leave her here for right now. So, then I go to Bonnie. I'm going. And I have all these set to staves. All these are staff monsters. So we're going to basically... You see all the stats on the right-hand side that we're going to be benefiting from? These are all big boosts. So we're looking at about a 3 million boost just off of this for basically all of this stuff except SP. It's only for two turns, but we'll, we'll see how that plays in. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. It is a staff. I know it's because I have her name as Bonnie with a little bow and arrow. 
Uh, again, we're going to move over. We're going to magic change. And again, more stats. I'm just going to skip over most of this stuff. We'll, we'll take a peek here in a second at, like, hers. You'd see a lot of our stats aren't going to come through on the secondary weapon because we're not using it. But we do still get a little bit of a bonus. And likewise, here from Tamlin, move her and magic change. And again, a little bit more of a bonus. Alright, so, with that being said and done... Our next thing is to pull out all of our angels. We have four angels, and we have four angels for a reason. Christo is one of them. And the reason is this. We're going to go to our status, we're going to go to abilities. And first off, we have softening aura. We do not take damage from allies. So despite her getting ready to nuke the entire map, it will not damage us, which is super important because otherwise these guys are useless. It's angel song. Increase the attack of adjacent allies by 25%. I don't know if this is actually great, considering we're using int. This may be completely unnecessary, but I feel like it helps. So I'm going to continue to use it. And also there's one other reason that I have at least one of the angels out, and that is Holy over here. He has, also he's become our best healer by like a lot, but he has the ability to magic boost, and that is going to bring our... Our pathetic uh, 5 million int up to almost 7 million int. And then we're going to use Land Decimator. What Land Decimator does is hits across the board. Every enemy on the board will get attacked. And it's a 50-50 hit or miss. However, since we haven't technically moved our girl yet, because we haven't done anything that locked her into place, she will attack twice. And since I gave her multi-attacker, she's going to attack a third time. So we're going to go take a quick peek here at her status one more time. Abilities. I don't know if this is all the best stuff yet. I'm still kind of playing around trying to find the, the perfect scenario. But basically, Mass Blaster increases damage dealt by number of targets of the attack, which is a whole bunch. Twin Heads attack again without moving. or When attacking without moving, you attack again, basically. And... I think that's about it. I have Lovely Song there twice, apparently. Didn't even know I could do that. Oh, oh, it's Magic Change. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. I, I didn't know I actually got um, abilities based off of the Magic Change. That's cool. That's very interesting. Alright, so uh, Shaking with Excitement. Uh, increased stats by enemy units on the map times three, so our stats go up tremendously in our first couple of attacks. So anyway, we're, we're going to do some damage here. It is called Land Decimator after all. Again, hit or miss, coin toss, but we're doing three coin tosses. I'm just going to speed it up. I'm not going to skip it. It hits, it hits everyone on the map. Sorry, not just enemies. Every single person on the map. And that just infuriated everyone. And now we're going with our second attack. All of the people that are on the map right now, other than our gal, Bianca, has that ability to... Uh, nullify any allied damage. Otherwise, they would just get obliterated. The only two that can kind of stand there if she's not, like, full kitted out with, like, crazy attack uh, or extra attack damage and stuff are Arzla and Bumpy. are the only two who can really stand. Everybody else can't. Also, take a look down here. We're looking at... Is that 9 million 95... Ni ni sorry. 9,095,211,511 damage. That's a lot of damage. And then you'll see all the people that we killed with the second wave we get shards from because they all got enraged and they're all in revenge mode from the first people that we killed. So tons of shards. And then we have our third coming. And there's our third one. I just skipped it so you guys don't have to go through the whole thing. Then we all punch her, but nobody can hit her because we're all super powerful. And they're all pretty crippled. I actually have never had three people standing here after I did that. This is a little bit worrying. Um... We are going to use our Overload right now, which is a Meteor or Comet Disaster, which is essentially going to do, basically, hit. it hits all enemies on the map. I'm very concerned that those guys are still there. Never in the hundreds of times I've run this map have I ever had two people survive that. Okay, we're going to have to move her, unfortunately, because we have to deal with this now. That's not great. Um, okay, get rid of you. That is me. crazy. All right. Sick. And here we are. Special. We'll use Yo-Yo Trick. It's fine. 
All right, so we didn't clear everyone on the map, which, again, we don't usually clear everyone because the boss is real tanky. I'm in love. All right, I am going to put you guys back in because you will not survive, most likely. They do not have the immunity. And I think we might still hit just as hard because I think it might be a fallacy that uh, getting the attack boost from the other guys is helping me in any way, so... We're just going to use Land Decimator again, and basically we just keep spamming the skill. So we just did our triple attack then, and we're going to actually move her back onto the... Oh, I can't do that. That's interesting. Alright. You know what, that's fine. We're just going to leave her there. I don't really think it matters. I'm going to put him here because he's also needed. And you'll notice that there's very few of them left on the map at this point. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the turn. They're going to move. We're going to come back down here. We're going to once again multi-attacker her. Uh, keep in mind now our little babies have come out of her. and She's no longer quite as powerful as she was before. Because the magic change wore off. It only lasts for two turns. So instead of almost 7,000, she's still... Or 7 million, she's still over 6 million. Or 60 million. So it's pretty decent. So we're going to go ahead and continue to land decimate. One, two, and three. And now it should only be the boss left. I'm in love. And we can just go again. So again, not the, oh, oh, there's still three people who didn't get completely crushed by the uh, RNG of the I'm whole thing. So some people don't mind coming like way over here with her and trying to take her down when she crosses over this path here. Because Land Decimator does not guarantee you're going to hit first off. And it does not do a tremendously high amount of damage to the bosses so something to be aware of something that you may want to do differently I don't mind just sitting here spamming land decimator if I'm going to be doing this now this might seem like a lot of work a lot of setup and very little gain but keep in mind every time that we do hit them we are critting as well because we have 100% crit rate so it's a little bit sorry it's a little bit more damage than you would expect but it is still a little bit light so once I get all of my items statted out to full capacity, and I get the 500, 500, 500, which you can eventually get to 1,000, but you have to do some stuff first, uh, I will be able to clear this much easier because your stats max out at basically 10 million minus 1. I'm not going to say all the 9s. Okay. Super close. Super close. Just can't finish it. Just not happening. Just nothing doing, huh? Alright. This should be the last one. If, they, if two of them hit, she's dead. Alright, there we go. And you get all that stuff. Uh, we've maxed out our money. We've maxed out everything. 28 characters just surrendered, so we can go turn those into the magic extract. And we can just basically keep farming that. If you recall, we had those four individuals with their subclasses. So, Bonnie, Ava, Dendra, and Tamlin, if we take a look at them at this point. Mastered. Magician, 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 Magician. So, all of it's mastered. So, basically, you do that one time, you come back, you come over here into the Strategy Assembly, and what you're going to want to do is go down to Bonnie, go down to Subclass, and switch to the next one that you haven't finished off yet. Now some of these are real close to being done. I'm just gonna finish them all at the same, just in the same pace. So it might look a little weird, but it's fine. So there we have it. That's basically it in a nutshell. I've also passed all, almost all of the bills that I can. I have the ability to bring 15 people into combat now, as opposed to only 10. I have passed all those bills, and we're feeling really, really, really solid right now. Things are looking really good. We have made tremendous amounts of headway. I know this episode is running super long, and I apologize, guys. And go, Maybe it's not that long. I did have some uh, pauses and breaks in between. But, yes, make sure you keep up on your curries, guys and gals. I usually use the Kalam Saleus, or however the heck you pronounce it, um, as my bases. So I use, like, the Kalam Saleus, and then I use two more of them or something else. Usually that's what I do. Or if I had, like, an extra Yoshitsuna, which I do right now, I would use that, and then the Kalam Saleus as the extra two ingredients. And then I dump the 100 Thimbles, which, again, are super cheap. Welcome. 
You can buy them right here. Thimble, super cheap, 40 uh, per thing. You buy it, you hit, you hold the triangle, you press up, you press down once, you got the 100. I'm just going to do that. No, I'm not going to do it now. I, I don't want to run the risk of running out of stuff. But yeah, basically, we're, we're looking real solid. We have five characters at this point that are basically maxed out with everything we can do short of items. And maybe playing around with some abilities and doing some stuff in the Kara or Chara world, if you will. But we're moving really, really, really far toward the end game. I haven't done any of the additional endings yet, if I recall correctly. I've only done the one ending. Hello. So let's take a look. CG, skit viewer, event, no. Sorry. It's somewhere. Maybe it's in data. Wanna know? Uh, ending records. All we have is the one ending. So there's still these six other endings, or five, two, three, four, five. These five other endings that we will have to go through, and I will show you guys all of that stuff. One of the things that we can also do, there's two things that I'm struggling to do right now. One of them is fight ball, I think. I was not strong enough, and I still probably am not strong enough, but we're getting closer. When I get a few more items, at least 300 plus, I think we're going to be looking solid at that point, but I don't know for sure. Uh, another thing, I have this that, again, I cannot do yet. I have grinded through all of the levels of the ridiculousness here, of the um, super high leveled whatever guys here. And you'll see that each of the ranks go up until I finally got one of the epic ones down here. And I went and I tried to face off against them and their stats are too high. I can't beat them yet. So this is the second thing that I'm grinding. Now the reason that this is super important, guys and gals, and this will be basically the end of the episode. The reason this is super important to be able to get in here and do this, which I think this happens to be a spear. You get the second to last or second strongest weapon in the game for whatever class you're looking at. So I'm actually going to bring up a chart because it, it's kind of confusing. But essentially, let's just take let's take swords for instance. You start off, the very first item that you can get is the replica sword. Then you go all the way down through until you get to one of the ones that we had for a while is the justice blade. That is rank 15. You continue all the way down through and you get up to rank... Uh, the Kalam Seleus is a pretty common one. That's rank 38. That's usually about the farthest you're going to find outside of, like, super high-end whatever stuff. But you can also find the Yoshitsuna. That is basically the final thing that you can find in normal circumstances. So what you need to usually do is go into the Kalam Seleus until you find the Yoshitsuna, go into the Yoshitsuna, and then when you do that, you can... All right, so it says you can get this the normal way for the Ball Sword. By defeating the item god 2 in a rank 39 weapon or armor. The god uh, 2 only appears at the equipment of the... The level of the equipment is 80 plus. So basically get a Yoshitsuna to 80 plus inside the item world. Make it to level 100 in the item world. And you'll get the ball sword. And then after that, that's the highest you can get. Other than two other things you can do. One, you can get the Glimmer Blade. You can get that by researching a rank 40 Netherworld, which we have right here in front of you. And then defeating the over Overlord of that. And you'll get the weapon from him. Can't do that yet. In this case, this one that we're looking at, I believe, is a spear. So we'll get the spear weapon, which would be the Saturn's Edge. However, there's one weapon even stronger than that tier. That's a, that's a tier 40 two-star weapon as this chart is showing and then there's a tier 40 three-star weapon for the sword it would be the catastrophe and essentially you need to find the legendary weapon mystery room in the item world it's completely random you have no way of getting this to happen more likely or less likely and then you'll have to talk to the weapon and then you'll receive it if the character has mastery for a carnage weapon of a hundred so you have to have a mastery of a hundred of whatever weapon you're in one of the characters in your party needs that. Right now, we only have two people that have masteries of 100. One of those is Arzla with her sword, and one of those is Bianca with her staff. So that's about all the information I have to spill to you guys. Other than that, it's going to be a lot of grinding. Hopefully, my next episode won't be too long down the road. I'll just get to show you guys some cool stuff, maybe. And uh, hopefully, we're a bit stronger. Don't forget to check out the... 
pretty uh, only dude runs through the game. This is the series, if you're watching this series and or you came from that one or whatever the case is, this is the series that you want to watch if you want to see all the storyline, everything done, completed in the game. If you want to see if I complete, can complete Disgaea 5 running through with printies only, go check out that. I'm really excited by it. I, I can't stop grinning. Uh, it's It's been a blast playing so far. It's been stressful. It has not been easy at all, but I, it's just such a cool idea and concept, and I'm just really happy that I'm able to bring it to you guys. And again, I'm hoping that it's going to be successful. We'll see. Either way, folks, that's it for this super long episode. I'm basically now caught up with everything that I needed to show you where we're at. If you have any questions of stuff that I may or may not have skipped, uh, by all means, ask. And I will see if it's something that I either covered and I can point you in the right direction or, oh, yeah, I totally forgot this. And then I can show you guys what's up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you're looking forward to Disgaea 6. June 29th is the release date for that. It is going to be on Nintendo Switch, and I am already excited and eager and ready to go. So let's let's get to it. Uh, till then, enjoy all the Disgaea coverage, guys and gals. I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. Always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>